Inspector General of Police orders arrest of Sheon Kuti. A video went viral over the weekend showing Afrobeat musician Sheon Kuti assaulting a uniformed policeman on the Third Mellon Bridge. The video showed Sheon confronting a policeman after he pursued and slapped the officer. It was pushed and slapped the officer. It, was also, it also showed Sheon's um, wife coming down from the vehicle to calm him down while he was confronting the officer. However, Sheon went ahead to slap the policeman. After the video of the assault went viral, Sheon took to his Instagram story to explain what led to, the, uh, to his action. According to the son of the legendary fella Kuti, the police officer tried to kill him and his family. His father stated the officer has apologized and that he will not be pressing charges against the officer. His action was condemned by many police officers with, with the Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, ordering the Commissioner of Police, uh, Lagos State Command to arrest Sheon Kuti. After the IGP ordered his arrest, it was said via his Instagram story that he welcomes the investigation into the space of the police officer he assaulted and we give full cooperation to the investigation proceedings. The Police Service Commission PSC on Sunday commended the Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, for ordering the arrest of Sean Kuti for attacking a police officer on duty. He equally ordered a speedy and full investigation into the cause of the assault and prosecution of Sean accordingly. In a statement released, the chairman of the PSC, Solomon Arase, said that no matter the offense, nobody, including Kuti, had the right to assault a policeman on official duty. Arase frowned at the effrontery of Kuti to have slapped the policeman, insisting that Nigeria is not a Russian state where, where might is right. Human rights lawyer Femi Falano says Afrobeat musician Sheon Kuti has sought his legal services following the singer's assault on a police officer. In an interview with Punch, uh, Falano said, and I quote, I'm his lawyer and he has briefed me. It's certainty, he, he certainly has evidence. This is not the first time he's dealing with the police. He's going to report himself to the police tomorrow morning. There is no problem. And as at this time, um, there's an update as regards to the news. Mm -hmm. Because Sean Kuti has actually been arrested. Yes, he has actually been arrested. That is Sean Kuti in handcuffs now. Um, Udenyi released a statement saying Afrobeat musician Sean Kuti in the early hours of today turned himself in at the Lagos State Police Command headquarters in Keja in company of his lawyer and family representative. He has been placed under arrest in line with the law. The command appreciates the public for their concern and assures that the ongoing investigation will be detailed, transparent, professionally pursued, and justice will be manifestly served for all parties involved. And that's the update as regards this new social has been, they, they've seen him finally. Yeah. Okay. We're looking um, for him. All right, so I saw a video of him on live where he was saying like, oh, that's police officer. He was saying a lot of things like police that's an officer. Old video. That is, no, that they, that they brought out, yes. Some people were saying that even based on that old video, yes, it shows that it's something that he's been doing. So even if you get out of this case, I mean, other cases, so it now starts to look like a power trip. Yeah, it's, yep. just, it's just for policemen to say, oh, have you been assaulted, assaulted by Sheon Kuti? Come yeah, out, come out, arranging. come out. Okay, so um, weighing in on situations like this can actually be very difficult because, I mean, at the end of the day, we don't even know the situation that happened we don't know how he was stopped. We don't know all of that. We just see the video of the assault. They are saying no matter what. Okay, now they are saying no matter what, but I can easily tell you that policemen can be very annoying in Nigeria. Now you're saying that don't assault a police officer. Of course, we're never in support of that. But police officers too, they need to know their job so that it doesn't even lead to that. Even this morning on my way to work, I was so offended by one police officer, like on my way. And I'm like, so it's how they wake up in the morning and stop you and then like they are doing all that and then you pack and I say, ah, something for, like, don't, I'm already late to work. So please, police officers as well, also do your absolute best to do the job that you're being called to do. And if you can't do that, please take off the uniform and let somebody else do the job. Because, I mean, it can also be annoying. Mm -hmm. Like I said, assaulting a police officer or even anybody in uniform mm -hmm. is, is, is a no. So let's see how this goes. I like the fact that he turned himself in. He didn't even try to run or anything. Yep. Like he said he would turn himself in. He turned himself in. I, I, I don't really know why there were the pictures of him in handcuffs and all that, to be honest. Like, I don't get it. You have to. You have to show that they're No, but I'm like, when you turn yourself in, do they still handcuff you? Like, you're not a... You're you came away. to... Well, yes. It's for content. They won't show that they're working. So that's what I'm saying. Like, is it just for content purpose? Because he turned himself in. Yeah. Right? Content. So you just used him for content. It's content that they're doing right. their job. No, no, no yes. Test. Because when you get someone, when no you arrest test. a criminal, you have to, apparently... Okay. Yeah. No matter what. No matter right. what. <laughs> so as I did like this now, you're supposed to all give me two bracelets. Wow. And you people they wear bracelets before. Yeah, no time. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I totally agree with everything you said, but I also want to admonish that policemen <sighs> should also 
It's uh, the way they relate with people because I have uh, gone out in the daytime at night and I've seen them assault people. Yes. Ladies and guys. Yes. Searching their bags, almost searching their bodies, uh, like touching them physically. And it can get really, really annoying. So, we, like you said, we don't know what happened in this case. And he said he has evidence. Evidence, yeah. exactly. So, I guess we'll just wait to see what the evidence is and find out what really happened. And I hope that great and good investigation is taken out on this case. That's all I have to say. No more jail like this. Mr. F. I arrest you. Let me just let you know now. Just if you, 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 you know. Do you know who I am? Oh, don't worry. Do you know he's going to represent me? I will me? shoot your video. The same lawyer, Abby. Ah, uh, before. Falana, Falana. Falana, Falana. Okay, Falana. Oh, Falana. Falana. Yeah. Oh, <laughs>